who will win the quarterback competition. We've done all the grades. We've looked back. Now the big topic the next four or five months is who's going to win this quarterback competition. And dad, who do you think it's going to be? Okay. Uh, I'm going to say something really bold here. Jimmy Garoppolo is going to win that quarterback competition. Iggy, if it's an honest competition. If well, you know, not, go ahead. If it's not loaded against Jimmy, I think, can I give my reasons? You already of course, please do, in. please do. I'm the father. Um, <laughs> you're already butting in. I think he's going to win because uh-huh. I think the other kid, although I'm going to use the word, I, I hate it, but I want to, although the other kid has upside. <laughs> he has <laughs> upside. Upside. Let's see how many times uh, you say upside today. Upside. You owe me a nickel every time although, you say it. Although the kid has upside, Jimmy is by far the more experienced quarterback, even with less upside. And um, I I don't think the kid is going to be ready. And I think Jimmy is going to play his tush off mm-hmm. in training camp. And if it's an honest competition, I think he's going to win. Okay. What I was trying to say, I wasn't trying to cut you off. Kyle was on the Rich Eisen show recently. And he said, uh, there is no competition right now. He kept using the phrase right now, which is key. No competition right now. Uh, Trey Lance isn't ready right now. So I guess what they're saying is if they have camp, if they have practice in mini camp or OTAs, May or June, there's not even going to be a competition. That doesn't mean there won't be one in August. I would expect there will be, there will be one in August. So basically what they're saying is Trey's not ready. I just have a, vi- a, a feeling that they're trying to set the bar low and that w- the message we're going to be hearing in three, four months is, wow, he's just blowing us away. I think Trey Lance is going to win this quarterback competition. And here's why he's a better athlete than Jimmy Garoppolo. He's smarter than Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo has been in this team for four years and they still talk about how he's getting the offense, how he's learning it. When he was hurt last year, he was in the press box taking notes. I don't know about Jimmy. I think this guy has just so much more physical gifts, natural gifts uh, that he's going to make Jimmy look pedestrian even though Jimmy's older and has more experience. I've seen Jimmy in camp, Dad. He's not that It's great. true. He's not a good camp player. No. Now, that won't be where the where the competition is settled. I would imagine preseason will factor in more because those are actual games, and the other thing is just practice. But still, I think if Trey Lance shows that he's ready, then I think he's going to start. Uh, and I think that in comparison to Jimmy – Jimmy looks shaky early. I mean, he's had some awful pre- preseason performances. It gets him a little while to get going. Some of his worst performances are week one. Remember last year, week one? I'm just saying, Jimmy's – you want him to rise up, Dad, but I don't I, I don't know, man. I don't know if he's got the fight in him anymore. Okay. Uh, let me just make a side point. Sure. You said Shanahan said there's no competition right now. Obviously, the right now is quite a uh, – a limiting factor. The other thing is I won't believe anything he says. Of course. I don't believe that he's going to be honest about things like that. So no. it's as if he just mumbled. I don't care what he said. Yeah. Um, anyway, I actually think Jimmy um, will, will outplay Trey Lance in the preseason and in training camp just because he's more experienced and because in terms of his ego and his profession, he has so much on the line. But I'd like to move to our second question. Hold on. Before we move on, let's okay. put a bottle of wine on it because we're great with bets. I think we're. this is a prediction. If Jimmy Garoppolo is a starting quarterback week one, I will give you a $50 bottle of uh, Bordeaux. How about that? Oh, a Bordeaux. I'll get you a, a Bordeaux. Bordeaux. I'll go to a Kermit Bordeaux. and I'll get you a Red Bordeaux. What do you say? And if, and if Trey Lance pulls off the improbable, you owe me a Red Bordeaux as well. I would love it. I I'll remember this one. Okay. You will? It's fairly simple. If it's Trey, I win. If it's Jimmy, you win. We'll find okay. out. Can we'll you remember that out there? Please remember it. Because I don't mean, down. I think he owes me some wine, and I don't remember I'm it I'm going to it over on Good Faith this weekend. I'm going to say that I lost and bring a couple of nice bottles of wine. You don't have a couple of nice bottles. You only get them from me. Well, I'll go out and get them. I'll use my pocketbook, and I'll I'll take my stinger, and I'll find <laughs> You should see that stinger. He calls it the blue beast. Oh, my God.